think that's the last of them. Help me! My master has plans for your pure soul, Merrick. You should feel honored. Merrick? Comrade, what ha- Dosha, that such a weakling could take one such as Merrick. How would Alev know? She was behind you. Oh, yes. Colors, the heroic guildmaster. <laughs> we don't need to wait for colors. You and Alev are more than smart enough to figure this out. Here, give those items you found on the cultists. You didn't recognize her tremor from her projection? I think her name is Dosha. Quite full of herself, actually. Hmm. This note mentions an island tower. Aleph wonders if it speaks of Buranim. It's an old alien ruin. A tower on an island off the coast of Skywatch. Go seek Merrick there. Aleph will find our heroic guildmaster and get additional blades. May good fortune stalk your steps, comrade. That should come in handy. To me. Comrade, I am Jofnir Iceblade, former master of the Fighters Guild. Don't interrupt, I cannot speak long. Dosha has taken Merrick beneath the island into the vault. She drains his soul for her master's dark plans. I can't. I can't say. My time grows short. Save Merrick. Stop the Daedra. We're the followers of Molak Bal. A pure soul, Dosha. Don't fail me. She almost had me. Thank you, comrade. Just need a moment to recover. If you hadn't come along... I'll be fine, Stendar willing. I heard her communing with the Lord of Lies. 
Molog Ball is harvesting souls for some dark plot. He's especially interested in the souls of the faithful. Comrade, grab that book and her notes on the table. I saw her scribbling after speaking to her master. We may be able to learn more about this plot, learn what this Mortum Vivicus is. Grab them, then let's get out of here. You are the sun on my scales, comrade. You've returned Merrick to us. Molag Bal. May he burn in the glare of a thousand suns. It's just like him to send an assassin to kill a noble warrior. That's a coward's weapon. Sooth, the Mortum... what? And I can't make tales or scales of these scribblings. No matter. It's going to take time to decipher this scrawl. But we'll put our best scribe on it. You've done a great service for the Guild today, comrade. I look forward to drawing steel with you in the future. If we learn anything from the journal, I'll make sure you hear about it. I'll look for you down the river, comrade. You'll hear from us once we've decoded the journal. It is good to see you again, and I do see you in my own way. You're a wound in time, a tear in reality that shouldn't exist and cannot long endure. Fate speaks in riddles. Your fate was written in the scrolls long ago. It is entwined with the fate of the five companions. I have finally located Lyris Titanborn in Cold Harbor. She works a terrible forge. Under the lash of the great deceiver, Molog Bal. Her soul is in great danger. You must go to her. I can manifest a gate to that dark realm, but you must go quickly. Tread carefully in Molog Bal's realm. You are important. The scrolls have so named you. You. You're alive. Are you really here, or is this another trick? Then he's still alive. Thank the gods. But you... You can't stay. You have to leave before they find you here. You don't understand. They've... done something to me. I can't leave. It's hard to describe. My memories, my feelings, they've... they've been fragmented. Ripped apart, and all the fragmented pieces have been locked away in different parts of the foundry. I've tried. The Daedra took everything. 
My willpower, my courage, my sense of self. I'm an empty shell. And the fragments are reflections of my worst fears and most painful memories. I, I can't. I, I don't think I can face them. I'll do my best. Lead on. Lost souls are barely aware of their humanity. The guards don't even beat them anymore. Victory is cruel. Defeat is worse. My parents' graves. My mother died in childbirth. My father was distant. Cold. I think he blamed me for my mother's death. I ran off to become a mercenary when I was 16. I never saw my father again. He was murdered by an old enemy. Father? Papa? Is that you? You bastards! Die like the monster you are! Your mind does Who are you? Why does Lyris walk with you? In life, I was Gyalda, father to Lyris. My spirit was torn from its rest and brought to this foul place. The Daedra forced me to experience my own murder again and again. I thought my torment would never end. I don't understand. Lyris was always a free spirit. Why would my presence bind her here? Lyris, is this true, child? You were always so cold. So distant. My mother died giving me life. It was my fault. I should never have been born. Lyris, look at me. The blood of giants flows through my veins. Your mother was a Nord. I gave her my seed without thought for her safety. That's why she died. Not because of you, child. Because of me. I thought you blamed me. You... you couldn't even look at me, Papa. Do you not see? When I looked at you, I saw her face. I loved her, child. Just as I love you. More than life itself. We cannot change the past, nor should we cling to it. You must not let these feelings haunt you. Let them go. Let me go. I love you too, Papa. Rest now. Be at peace. He's gone. Come on, let's get out of here. This place is a labyrinth of hopelessness built to compound the misery of those who labor here. Did you get all the pieces? Yeah, I stashed them in the footlockers all around camp. I bet the commander makes her run 50 laps this time. 50? Let's hope the beast gets a lashing. All right. Let's get back to it. Act natural. Did you find something? I can't believe it. This armor is who I am. It's what I am. A warrior without her armor is like a bear without claws. Excellent. I'm ready. That's over with, I suppose. Attack! Oh. 
Watch your step. All the mining has made these tunnels unstable. Abner Thorn, you traitorous bastard. I should have expected to find you here. Don't be a fool, Titanborn. I'm trying to help you. Your hatred poisons you. Warriors are like steel. When you lose your temper, you lose your worth. Help me. You betrayed us all, then went back to licking Money Marco's boot before the smoke cleared. I did what I had to do. And as a show of my good intentions, I have a gift for you. But be warned, Cold Harbor will not give it up easily. Is that... Sure, Spones, it is. Vestige, that's my battle axe. Haste our steel! It's good to have you back. Are you thirsty for Daedric blood, old friend? <sighs> My axe. Ah, oh, it feels good to have it back. It's part of me. Losing it was like losing an arm. I don't know. I don't trust him and I never will. But it's odd. The blind hatred I felt when I saw him. <sighs> I could have strangled him with my bare hands. But now... I think he was right. That hatred was poisoning me. Better. Stronger. Almost whole again. <laughs> Isn't that strange? I feel powerful enough to take on Umaril the Unfeathered himself. I feel... like a warrior again. We're not done yet. We need to keep moving forward. The passage is blocked by a rock slide. But now that I have my axe back, I might be able to break through it. Stand back. No damn pile of pebbles is gonna stop me now. So many Daedric beasties, so little time. We need to keep moving. They made their choices. So be it. Hard work pays off. Nobody ever drowned in sweat. Glory! Uh -huh. 